What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an in-depth player review and guide to Barrios. One of the best players that they have released thus far. Absolute beast. You can see his skills and his stats on there. This is for a CB slash DMF kind of blocker. Just blocking the passing lanes. Still able to play a little bit of ball with his one-touch pass. We will go over to eFootball DB in a second just to compare him against meta DMF such as Davids and Declan Royce. But this guy's player profile lads, is off the charts. Insane player. He can go really, really high, nice levels. Yes, you can play him right back, but I definitely think as an anchorman, play him as a deep-sitting DMF or else a CB and just max out his defensive capabilities. He gets on so much ball. His biggest kind of attribute from having played with him and testing him out and playing a lot of games, and I will have a lot more clips coming up as well on him, is his ability to just block the passing lanes and block the channels. And that's what really is important in eFootball at the moment because it means that you can stop your opponent's attacks but also go straight onto a counter-attack. So let's go over and compare him. All right, let's, we're over here on eFootball DB and we're going to take a look at a couple of, you know, absolute beastly DMFs that are kind of the real top guys in eFootball at the moment. And we'll probably continue into eFootball 24 as well, right? So first up, we have Davids. And if you look at Davids, right, you've got the defense, you've got the low passing, you've got 90 acceleration with 89 balance. That will get the boost, of course, as well. Stamina and speed up in the high 80s, low 90s. And of course, you also have all those defensive stats. Now, he doesn't have one touch pass. And he also, the big thing with Davids, if you are playing him as a DMF, is if you come up against somebody that is able to mix it around, right, you know, with a target man or with Haaland or Collar or Benzema or Cristiano Ronaldo or anyone that's able to put the ball into the box Davids doesn't really help out defensively because he's you know he is quite short right um he also doesn't have a lot of the stats that you would probably associate with a more defensive minded player like yes he has interception blocker sliding tackle but he obviously because of his height he doesn't have heading he doesn't have acrobatic clearance well he does have acrobatic clearance but he doesn't have aerial superiority he has fighting spirit but double touch and one touch pass are kind of missing from him and um, when you're comparing him with Barrios, right? Um, listen, absolutely insane DMF. One of the best players in the game. Him and Makalele are very interchangeable. Patrick Vieira is also in that mold as well. But you might have missed out on these epics or you might want to stay free to play or you might want to take your look with a, with a bit of a, a bit of a Barrios beast in midfield, right? So he is fantastic, don't get me wrong. But again, you are limited in how you can kind of play him a little bit, especially if you come up against somebody that does a lot of in-air attacks or aerial attacks, right? We also have Declan Rice. Now, Declan Rice is kind of as close to Barrios as you're possibly going to get, um, especially if you got this version of him or if you got the England version of him. Pretty much any version of Declan Rice is kind of similar anyway, right? He's got some excellent player skills. He doesn't have blocker. Um, he doesn't have aerial superiority. He doesn't have acrobatic clearance and he doesn't have heading, right? So at, at, a, at a push, defensively in terms of player skills, which control as much as stats, right? And are as more probably more important than stats, in my opinion, uh, for how the game is. I think that he's obviously lacking a lot of those. Now, it doesn't really make a difference for this card because it's a beast. But if you want to, you know, maybe train him up and put skills on him, then yeah, you are going to get a monster there. You've got your defensive stats. Um, you've got your speed, your acceleration, your low pass. Everything is pretty decent here. Um, you know, obviously, again, you're going to have that issue with lack of mobility, I think, for your DMF, right? Which it brings us to Barrios, right? So first up, we're going to take a look at a centre-back version of Barrios. And it's just an insane card. I mean, trust me, lads, this guy is absolutely incredible. Uh, Anchorman is his playing style, which means that he's going to naturally sit back in that DMF pocket. This rating and this guide that we have here is a 96-rated centre-back, as you see there. It won't show up as 96 overall in his card because he's down as a DMF. But look at the stats. 95 awareness for defense, tackling 97 with defensive engagement 97, and then aggression over 90, which is 93. Speed acceleration, both going to get the boost to 80 with you get the player form arrow. And then, of course, you're going to get the boost to physical contact, balance, and stamina as well to go into the mid to high 80s. And, of course, you've still got that 74 low pass. But what he lacks in stats for passing and dribbling, he makes up for it with double touch and one touch pass. He also has all the defensive stats that you could possibly want, apart from heading that's the only one that you really need with him aerial superiority would be nice on this card but heading would be really really good on this card as well um he's not as tall as Declan Rice but he's not as short as David so he's kind of like a really nice go between and if you're used to playing with the likes of Kunde or Cannavaro or any of those players if you put heading on him or aerial superiority he turns into a, a, an absolute beast right I've played with Barrios's standard card a lot 
and he's just insane. The only thing that stops him is obviously his player live update, um, where he's not, never really on A or B. But, you know, the rest of the stats are insane, like absolutely ridiculous, right? If you want to go for a DMF version, then you're going to just slightly tweak it, right? So you're going to boost up the acceleration and balance. You're going to make him more in line with Davids. Um... And you're not going to really depend on his uh, his defensive capabilities as as a CB. It's more going to be for a DMF and a central player. So you can still play a little bit of ball with the one touch pass and the 78 low pass, which will get a boost. You also have the balance at 93, which is going to get a boost to 95 with the player form arrow, which is incredible. And then, of course, you do have that 84 acceleration while still having no defensive stat under 90. So, lads, I mean... They haven't released a player this good with these player skills. I think he's definitely going to be one of the most broken players in the game. So there you have it, lads. That is a nice comparison. I hope it helps you out. He's a beast. I massively recommend him. He's an absolute machine. DMF CB can play out from the back. Suits my play style perfectly. And yeah, you won't go wrong with him. So happy hunting and I hope you get him in your spin.